Alright guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about learning how to accept your console's yes. flaws. It's your boy Razor, and we're also going to be talking about gameplay versus graphics. Alright guys, and then we're also going to be talking about how kids today doesn't really have a great role models to look up to in this generation. You also got Rai right here. And welcome back to the Razor and Rai Rai Show. Alright, today's first thing we're going to talk about is today's kids, today's, this generation, not my generation, alright? Not in the 90s or the 80s, whatever you want to call them. But the younger kids being born, you know, in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s or whatever. Me and Razor earlier today, we were talking about how we used to look up to all these <sighs> cartoons like Spider Man, X Men. Speed Racer, G.I. Joe, all that shit, Captain Power Planet. Power Rangers, all of that shit. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, apparently y'all see me wearing rocking the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers today. Anyways, that's shit we grew up with. We grew up with these good role models. But nowadays, you have people growing, like these little you kids. You got little kids looking up to. Look Jersey Shore, you got iCarly, you got Hannah, uh, Montana. Hannah Montana. All this other bullshit, yo, like these real little, like you got kids looking up to little kids. And that's what it comes down to. What we're talking about, I Carly, I I don't know what's up with that little girl. Like I don't know if she's good or bad or, or whatnot. But it's like, yo, why are you having your kid look up to kid like kitty shit? And it's not even like the parents' fault. That's no, the, it, it, media overall, that's all they show. They don't show any cards. And, and not just and not just that. When the media does expose them, the parents get mad at them. They get mad at the, at the actors. Yeah, they get mad at the actors for like, oh, you got so many kids looking up to you. Why would you go do that? Why would you smoke or suck on cock or something? You know what I'm hey, saying? We're actually talking like, about uh, our, that, it, that little, uh, that Hannah Montana hoe. Yeah, uh, go tell about the story. She, it wasn't his boyfriend Basically, boy? I seen a story the other day where she was, I think it was like her bro boyfriend's like nightclub party or some shit like that. Anyway, there was a cake with a massive black cock on it, right? And she took a picture of her like, like with like next to the cake with a black cock. You that real good there. Anyway, she, <laughs> yo, she took a picture next to it. So what we were talking about is like, yo, the role models back then are ways just way way better than what they are now. I actually feel kind of bad for these kids growing up with these kind of role models, not growing up with characters like Batman, Spider Man. The, you know the guys that we looked up to. Yeah, and the reason why is because uh, back then those cartoons they were made to be perfect role models. Why. There's no yeah. flaws within like it, like Spider Man and Batman. For well, Batman has some flaws, but you guys know what we're talking about. There weren't real people, you know. You can't have. I feel bad for kids looking up to real people. You, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, some and some of it we can blame on the media, of course. But uh, that's enough of that, though. Next topic is gonna be about learning how to point your system flaws out. Yeah. First and foremost, we're gonna start pointing out some more flaws on the PS3, just so we game on the PS3 all the time. And and not just this, guys. This has to do. This is how we can help the YouTube community by also, you guys. Y'all gotta point out your flaws in your systems. Any fanboy, all right, guys. Yeah. You gotta point out the flaws in the in the Nintendo Wii, the Xbox, sixty, PS three, and PC. All right, guys. Every, every PC too. You're in here. You're in those four. All right, guys. That includes Black Bond Dream three hundred eight, uh, Anti Martyr. Uh, Home Master Flex. Okay, every PC. Yo, yo everything. Guy. But yo, every console has its flaws. There's no denying it. All right. For example, I'm gonna start out with PS3. Since I play on PS3 all the time. We have games like Starhawk and a couple other games coming out. But our PSN community really is not up to par with some like the PCs community, where there's really a lack of communication. Games like Starhawk, games like Mag, games like uh, well, even Warhawk, which is basically the same thing as Starhawk. An old version. They really don't work too good on the PS3 just because of the lack of communication and the and it, it just kind of kills the game overall. That's a fact. There's yeah. no denying. It. If anyone's played those games, they, you can't tell me that that's not that I'm lying about that because I play the I play the shit out of all those games. And really, other than that, I mean, really, the PS3 is kind of like one of the best systems you could pick. Not, not I'm not being a fanboy. It honestly is one of the best systems overall to pick because of the games and then what it offers. So overall, the PS3 for consoles it does offer a lot for right. money. Now, but for there are flaws with some of the games. For 360 now, we're going to talk about the, uh, lack, the, the lack of exclusives. Lack of exclusives. There's no denying it, guys. You guys have, like, no games coming out. Uh, you guys got a couple, you know, like Halo. Yeah, like, and the only reason why I picked PS3 over 360 is because you can get multi on either one. Whether or not it runs better on the 360 or the PS3, I can't even tell. 
Because I'm only buying one copy for one of the systems. And when I play one on the PS3 that plays better on the 360, and I can't tell on the PS3, it doesn't matter. All right. Now, the exclusives, of course, PS3 so, it's has a lack more. Of, it's, it's a very bad lack of exclusives exactly. in the Xbox. Now, the now, online... What are you going to talk about? The well, online? The, the online, you do have to pay for the Xbox and, as opposed to PS3. You don't have to pay, which is kind of sucks. I mean, even if you can't afford it, it just sucks to even pay for it. All right. Uh, Nintendo Wii. Where do we start with this system? Uh, <laughs> the hardware is very lacking. Okay, it has a very lack of games just because you can't play a lot of the multi plat games that are on PS3 and Xbox. So really you, you, could, they, you can't run them on the Wii. You just can't. It's a very weak system. Very bad online infrastructure. But they do have their games, okay, guys? They, they do have a handful of exclusives game, exclusive games. That's why I can't really wait. I, I'm excited for the Wii U, honestly. Guys. Razor's excited for the Wii U. I'm kind of shaky about it. Because, yo, Nintendo, even though they've been screwing the, the, the real gamers for the last two generations, since GameCube and the uh, the Nintendo Wii, we do love Nintendo, we do love the N64, and, and they did bring us a lot of shit. Back then, guys, times. all right, I don't know if any people are, any to our new subscribers, I hated Sony back then. I did not have a PS1, I did not have a PS2. All I had was Nintendo products, Sega's. We, we basically, we grew up with Nintendo, and we do want Nintendo to be better in the future. There's no denying that. That's what we want. Because, yo, who wants a shitty product out on the market? Because we buy all the products, believe it or not. We have two Wii's. Either way, yeah, though. Exactly. All right. I think, I think we that, need... That's enough for that. That's oh, enough uh, for PC that. guys. Also, oh. PC guys are probably one of the worst ones at this, uh, point out their flaws. Well, actually, all fanboys are pretty bad at it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I, I think PC users don't, they they don't want to point out their flaws. Okay, but guys. They, I mean, they got me some. and Razor are both looking into getting PCs. We're we're both making the jump to it pretty soon. I'm just trying to clear out some space so I have some space to put my whole PC rig. All right. Anyways, I'm looking into them, and PC does have a number of flaws, whether you want to accept it or not. One of them, for example, a PC is very expensive. These guys that tell you that a PC costs six seven hundred bucks to buy and build it yourself. No, not really, because once you buy a PC, once you get a good gaming keyboard, good mouse, and good uh, monitor, you're looking at a minimum, well, from what I want. I'm look like, for what I want... I'm what do you want? I mean, not, not what you want, but what's the price my, that you want? With the stuff that I want in a PC, I'm looking at at least 1500 bucks. All right? And I, I'm willing to drop that just because I work and I have a job, but a lot of people aren't willing to drop that. That's one of the biggest cons of PC. It's very expensive. People, they'll lie to you and tell you it's not. It is very expensive. Uh, the second thing I really think PC flaws is is that they have a lot of accessories to buy. Now, whether or not you agree with me or not, this is what I think. For the PS3, I really don't buy any extra accessories except controllers and a mic. And a mic. But I'm still using the mic that I got from my SoCon that came with a free game. You know, it came with the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't buy any accessories for my consoles. Well, now, whether the PS3, I mean, the PCs. You need you need other accessories for other games. I mean, you might not need them, but I mean, whether or not you want them, you know, to play controllers or racing sims, you know, or even upgrades. All right, P yeah. So adding on to that, PC it is very expensive. You do have stuff. You, you don't have to buy stuff, but you're gonna want to buy accessories and this and that. Uh, another thing with PC is that first of all, it's a computer, so you're gonna get viruses and stuff. If depending on the kind of person you are, a lot of people do not. <laughs> Let's face it, a lot of people, they watch porn and shit on the computer. <laughs> Whether you want to deny it or not, it's a fact. You're going to get viruses and stuff like that. It is possible on a PC. And it's not really possible on a PS3. This PS3 I got right here, is basically porn-proof. I can watch all the porn I want. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen to my shit. Yeah. Anyways, adding on to that, though, the PC does have its problems, along with the PS3, Xbox, uh, Wii, all that. And, and hopefully next gen steps up their game in. I hope be better. And honestly, I, I hope PC, Nintendo, uh, Microsoft. I hope everything does good next gen. Cause I we're I, I'm a gamer. I'm a consumer. I play everything. I really do hope everything goes up. I just been playing PS3 mostly this generation, just cause it's the best product out right now. There's no denying that. Now, real quick, graphics versus gameplay. We're not gonna go stretch. We're not gonna go out into a whole big old detail. But we both agree that we need a mixture of both in any game. All right, guys. I mean, games like Uncharted 2 and 3 have shown us that, yeah, you can have great graphics and you can have great gameplay. It's not impossible. And these Nintendo guys will try and tell you that that uh, they don't need graphics. But when you have a Nintendo Wii and you're playing games like Zelda Skyward Sword, 
you're gonna want good. You're gonna want better graphics. When I'm playing Zelda Skyward Sword, uh, I'm feeling like this game should have been out eight years ago. That's the way I feel when I play. Mark my words. Once the Wii U comes out and the next Zelda comes out, with this gen's graphics, with better better graphics, I guarantee you they are Nintendo. When I mean they Nintendo fanboys with drones or whatever Nintendo drones, they're gonna be bragging about graphics. And the thing is, Game guys, simple. it's going to make the game better. There's no denying that. A Zelda with good graphics, hell yeah, I would love to play that. Uh, and on to that, though, graphics aren't the only thing that make a game. Games like Killzone 2 and 3 have shown us that, hey, you can have a beautiful-looking game, a game that can show off your what your TV can do and whatnot, and it, it's basically a shitty game overall because it's so the frame rate lags so much, you can hit fire from across the map. It's just so the gameplay on there... It's kind of broke. I don't want to say I, broken. I, can, I can see you saying it about Killzone 2, but Killzone 3, I thought it, it ran pretty good. I didn't think Killzone 3 ran good at all. I thought, I, think, it, I thought it ran pretty good. The only bad thing about it is the hit firing, honestly. I mean, you really don't have to aim down the sights. But That's it, the only thing that bugs me. Either way, it. though, like, go, adding on to this conversation, you got to have a good mixture of graphics and gameplay, which is why uh, the Wii, in my opinion, is just not a good system for this gen. It just really wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, whether they have their games or not, it's not... Their graphics are just horrible. It just is. Exactly. And that's about it for the graphics and the gameplay. So, guys, tell us what you think about our video. Follow us up on Facebook and Twitter. I'll put the link in the description and everything. And uh, subscribe, thumbs up, and comment, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for watching.